Lay police are continuing a joint operation with CS officers to recapture more than 50 prison escapees. Apart from the nine initially captured, there's been limited success. Police believe many may have already left for rural districts where police presence is limited and monitoring is difficult. Today, Lay's Metropolitan Superintendent issued a strong warning to members of the public. Anyone caught giving shelter to those who escaped will be arrested and charged. So my appeal to them is to vol voluntarily surrender themselves and parents to make sure. Because if anyone found to be harboring these uh, criminals, they will certainly be charged uh, with harboring. And these are the faces of just some of the 50-plus prisoners who escaped. Police are appealing to the public for support to aid their capture. So out of that uh, 68, uh, 16 are convicted prisoners of uh, various crimes uh, such as uh, robbery, murder, uh, rape and all other cases. Uh, 41 are national uh, court remandis. Uh, these are uh, uh, detainees uh, who have been committed to stand trial in the national courts. One of the escapees is Henoma Bulak, a former Bumayong student imprisoned for murdering another student last year during a school fight. Another, Adam Ngandang, held in remand for one of the nine armed robberies that happened in Lay last month. Also after nine armed robberies, police have reorganized their operations to prevent further robberies. Six members of the gang that targeted electronic shops in Lay City have been arrested. Police are also seeking more evidence to convict the owners of the PMVs involved in the robberies. Scott Whiting, National MTV News, Lake.